Hi there, my name's Remy Sharp, and I want to show you what I have been working on over the last few weeks. So I had a requirement to be able to have my next talk to a web server um, and uh, have the web server kind of send data back to my next for a game I've been working on. Um, and I've ended up building a tool called HTTP Bank, um, which I'm gonna show you now. So it's a dot, dot file. Um, and at the moment I'm running in this uh, uh, working directory, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how I can use that dot file. So um, let's start off by doing a get. So I'm gonna do, uh, oh, wrong way. Um, I'm gonna create a new basic program and I'm gonna do, um, I'm going to start on layer one, uh, layer zero rather. Um, I'm going to uh, print out just what the usage looks like. Um, and I'm going to save this because I know I'm going to lose it along the way. Get bass. Great. Um, so that's the usage for uh, this program. It's currently in beta, but it's a public beta, so um, I'd love for you to test it and have a play. Um, so 11b is the version I'm working on now. You can do gets and you get do posts, and the idea is that you can do a get to a uh, web resource, and it will load the contents into a bank. Um, and you can do a post, so you can take an existing bank and send all that data off to a web resource as well. The main constraint with all of this is that it only works on uh, plain HTTP. And I've got some examples uh, of servers in the source code, which is in that tiny URL uh, link at the end. Um, and I also have a service that I'll show at the end of this uh, demo that you can use for free as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do uh, HTTP bank, and I'm going to request the host uh, 192.168, my desktop machine that's running next to me. Um, I'm running on port 8080, so I'm going to include the port 8080. Um, and the URL I want to uh, request oops, is uh, slash three, um, not the best of names. And I'm going to load the contents of this HTTP request into uh, the bank five, which is layer zero. Um, and I want to set that into the, uh, I'm going to set the offset of uh, minus zero. Now the, the the offset determines where it appears in the bank. Um, if I give it a negative value, it means don't erase the bank before you load it in. And because I'm loading into bank five and there's actually some um, you know, system variables in there, uh, I don't want to erase everything. What I want to erase is just the, um, the screen memory, basically. Um, so I think that is all I need. Uh, by default, HTTP bank is going to do a uh, get request, so I haven't specified. Um, and if I run this, it will print the output of the usage and then it should make a, a web request and load it straight into layer zero. And there we go. So that was what was on the end of my uh, URL, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's as easy as that to get data into a bank. Um, this could have quite easily been uh, bank 20. So I could you know, just load it into the bank here um, and then run it. And I just say done. If I hit the the NMI debug tools, memory browser bank uh, two eight hex, that's the contents of what just came back. And if you if I just scroll past uh, what are four thousand bytes, it should be should be empty. Where are we up to? Oh, we're not even far enough yet. There you go. So that's the the attributes uh, for that layer. So um, that is getting, let's have a look at um, posting. So what I've got here is a, another demo. So I've got um, print flash hello world. I'm gonna print the usage for HTTP bank. Then I'm gonna do a post to the host data.remyshop.com. I'm gonna post the URL slash one. I'm gonna post the bank five, again, my layer zero. Uh, actually, let's specify that in, uh, let's do line one, layer zero. And the length of the uh, data that I'm going to send is 6,912 bytes, which is the full layer zero screen. So if I run this, um, what you should see is the flashing hello world, HTTP bank, and then um, uh, it should just say okay. So if I run that, 
Um, then OK means that it's finished. Now I'm going to switch over to my desktop and show you the second half of this. So the request was to uh, data.remyshop.com, which is this URL here. Um, you'll see that there is no uh, HTTPS on this URL, which is intentional. And this is a small web app that I built uh, over a couple of days just to kind of capture uh, information. So I've got this, this app one, which is uh, this endpoint. So I posted to this slash one endpoint a moment ago. Uh, there were no posts here. I'm gonna just hit refresh and we see a new post. So this is uh, the data that was just uploaded. I can look at that as hex, um, which is entirely blank, but maybe it's okay. What we're gonna do is download this, um, download, and I'm going to uh, take that download and I'm just gonna rename it uh, kind of off screen to SCR and load it up. Ah, there it is. That is the screen memory that I just dumped across to my web server. So this is the, this is a hex dump of the data. I guess all that, that blank bit is, I don't know, up here or something. Don't know what the first block was, but that's the hello world over here somewhere. Um, yeah, so I'm able to take data from my next and I can post it to a uh, website and I can take uh, data from a website and post it into my next. Uh, so tinyurl.com slash HTTP bank, not that URL, HTTP bank, um, is the Git repo. Um, there is a release, a pre-release in there, uh, HTTP bank, lots of documentation that goes with it, shows you how to use it, uh, the arguments, uh, specific discussion about C-spec, um, and C-spec uses 7-bit um, uh, data exchange, which means that you have to kind of do a little bit more, but... I've included lots of examples on how that all works. Um, it's all open source. If you want to borrow some code, you're welcome to. If you find the issues, I'd love to hear about them and fix them. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'd love to find out what you do with this.